Welcome back. Today I'm going to introduce you to a new product. Uh, guys at Hairline sent me this a while back. And I mean, honestly, when I first got it, I thought, wow, it's, it's kind of complicated. There's a lot of stuff here. Wasn't really sure. Started putting this stuff together and absolutely love it. I mean, I, I, it, it seemed like more than I really wanted, but then I set it up over here and started putting the components together and I realized whoever designed this, which is Cheech and the guys down at Fish Food, and obviously these guys are superstar tires and so it was well thought out. And so I put it all together and I'm just gonna kind of walk you through it. You can see how I had it set up over here. And every one of these things comes in a little module or, you know, they're all these little, these little pieces like this. And they're really simple to put together. They got, you don't really need instructions. You've got a little thing that shows you that put the spacer here and put this there. And it's pretty straightforward, but it starts out. And, and just from a, from a price standpoint, if you bought every single piece on this, it would be maybe 200 bucks. I don't know. It's not very much money. They're, they're, the big one is $60. And I'm going to take these up because this is an add-on just to show you where it starts, all right? But just see how easy this thing is. And so the first one, pretend it's ending right here. I've got them hooked together because this is a, it's just a little add-on piece right here that makes it so you can angle it. And I'll put it back like I had it when I started because for me, it was perfect. I've always had my little Renzetti one here. And really, that's kind of part of the story too. This morning, I had everything on here and I was about to throw about half my glue away because I was pissed off because every time I'd move it I'd knock these bottles off on the ground and I got lacquer everywhere and I was like I'm just going to scale it down and I opened that one up and it's the resin organizer and I was like holy smokes that is like perfect so anyway you can see it's super simple uh, I mean they thought it out you know those guys are, are, are superstar tires and they're, they're just you know, great guys, and they, they put this thing together. And you can see this is the, the spool and tool organizer. And so it's basically all your tools, right? And how it goes together is you've got these, where do I put those rods? I don't know what I did with them. They're these things. Oh, here, one of these. Basically, they're all these acrylic rods with these spacers. These aren't the ones. This is for the hammock. But it starts out, and you just you press them together. There's three layers of them, right? Super simple. And you can see it's, you know, and it's up to you. You just organize it how you like. I've got stuff that I use every day on it. And this back one, these here, are designed so you could stack thread, right? Any type of thread. And there's a, extra uh, acrylic rods that go in here. And there's these holes in the back. And you do that. And so that was really cool. And then the thing I had hanging there is called the hammock. And this one is just, you just adjust this put those in each one of those holes done with your flies you can just hang them up there on this little hammock you can adjust this this way it's it's just it's really basic and that's what makes it so easy to work with there's nothing really too complicated so this would be your original the 12 inch or no this is i think this is a 16 inch the uh the tool and spool caddy and so you set this up and then you can do the add-ons right so you're rolling around over here and you see i've got this it's a triangle and it's it's able so you're able to move this at an angle so if like I'm going to set mine over here and I'll show you in a second how I'm going to do it and so I've got I've got it attached here and it still allows you to use the holes where you're attaching again really well thought out you know that not everybody's going to have it on a straight line if I and then, by the way you don't have to do this you don't have to attach these if I, I was going to like if I was going to put it all behind me here I could have a long straight line you can see I'm going to get to more of them in a second I could have a long straight line. You don't have to attach them. You can move them. You can do whatever you want. This one just happened. And I didn't see that when I first started opening all this stuff. I couldn't figure out what this little triangle thing was. And then I said, oh my God, this thing's perfect. So I can just adjust it however I want. But what I got was all my resins down here that I was about to throw away. And you see these acrylic rods. This is universal. They keep putting these in here so you can add spools if you want. Personally, I don't think I would deal with that very long. I would cut these off. I have a different spool tender for my, you know, behind me. So I wouldn't be using that, but it's, it's, you know, no problem. But I'd probably cut those off, maybe leave it for two or three high. It's up to you. Another, and, and this one, by the way, I think I said it. This one's 60 bucks. This one, I think, is 50, right in that zone. I don't know. 
And then there's this one here. This one's kind of cool. We used it earlier in the, talking about flies. This is the umbrella. It's simply that, right? And you just keep it on top of one of these. And what it is, it's, it's got magnets all around the bottom. So you can just put your flies up there, dry them. You know, if you're tying a fly, you get done with it, you're going to dry it, the head. And you just put these things in the got little magnets on them right there. So for me, as you've seen, anybody that's watched, I always have my tool caddy over here. I don't like clutter, but, and you can see right there, that's that little triangle. So just to fit my table so I can see, get to everything I want, absolutely perfect for me because I, my stuff's over here. I move around a lot and I'm always flopping my arms around and shit. And so this thing's really nice and I can adjust it however I want if I've got, need more space there. It just, once I had it all together, I went, wow, that's a really well thought out process for me. And so then there was these. These are, this is when you start knowing what kind of organizational freaks the boys down there are because this one, I can assure you, this one is the, the bead and hook organizer. And again, I wouldn't have these personally. I wouldn't have my thread in this one. I'd cut these off just so they're pretty flush. But this thing, and this one is uh, 50 bucks, I believe. This one's 25. This one's just basically just a bead one. This one's got different sizes, different shapes, you know, for hooks. It'd, pretty, it'd be pretty much all small hooks and small. But that's what you're going to be doing when you're doing bead flies, right? If you're doing any of your pertigons and stuff like that, or any just regular beads, you're going to have smaller hooks, and you can, you know, correlate your hooks to your beads, blah, blah, back and forth, make it real simple. Uh, and again, there was another piece for these, and this is that kind of, this one's a triangulated piece. This is a rectangle, and they just simply fit right in here, and you just put it right there, and you connect these two, right? And you're going to say, oh, I'd lose this space. No, you don't. Those at, these actually, in both of them, they go right over top of the other one, and so you don't lose a thing. It goes right in there and they fit right back in there. It, it, this was a really well thought out process. And again, that's all these are for. You can take that out, put it in the middle so it's not elevated. It's, it's, an, it's a really functional tool for organizing your table. If you're one of those people whose significant other tells you you're a pig, if you're still a pig after you have this, then you're just a pig. So if you get this, it's gonna help out everything. It's a really well thought out product. It's really not expensive. Like I said, the most expensive piece is the biggest one and that's 60. If you added every single piece in here, it might be 220, I don't think so. So it's a really well thought out process. It's really light, easy to move around, easy to configure. I think you're really gonna like it and it's a really good value. Hope you like it, hope it helps you out.